Good morning, good morning. Housekeeping. Um, I have gold paint all over me. This may have happened. Gold Liquitex. And look what I'm making my own personal little travel pan of always have yellow, always have white, always have gold. Um my hand is not good. Um I don't know if you can tell, but it is swollen. Uh and I I think I just like stretched something in here. Um and because it's at first my husband says you've got your ace bandage too tight well this is not there's dog hair in my ace bandage go figure this is not tight at all it's just to keep it from bending but really and truly the pain is not here anymore it's through here so because i'm in such such terrible pain and i am a delicate flower missing a leaf now my husband's taking me to this art supply store <laughs> Yes, I know. That is totally not necessary. Do I know how lucky I am to have a husband like this? Yes. Yes. But I'm like, hey, you want to go to Good Postage? This is in Charlotte. And um, this was today. I was sewing a little bit and it was like 1030. And he's like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, no, never mind. I said, because neither one of us had even had showers yet or anything. And um, it was a very slow morning here. And uh, this is Saturday, by the way, Saturday evening. And he said, I said, never mind. It's, it's too late. It's too late to get started because it's a two hour, not, a, yeah, it's about two hour drive to go to Charlotte and coming back, the traffic's going to be terrible. I know. Even though there is a back country road, you can take part of the way. So I said, no, let's, let's, Never mind. I I said, do you really think I need art supplies? He goes, you never know. Even though I do know that they have some new stuff because they've been putting it on Instagram. And um, I said, no, 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. So I went about, I started sewing some more, um, trying to use up the scraps in my craft room and the scraps in my, from paper and the scraps from fabric. So I'm just putting a bunch of fabric together to make some stars to put on a border of a quilt. And I mean, just just it's never ending here they everything multiplies maybe the paper and the fabric are mul um mating together and that's where it's all coming from i don't know anyhow um so about an hour later i'm sewing and you know watching wimbledon just you know doing my thing feeling sorry for myself because my hand hurts and he goes they're open at 11 tomorrow you want to go tomorrow i'm like oh really <laughs> I said, no, he said, we can take the back way, both directions. And he said, we got to take the dog, which this area that Char it's in in Charlotte is a gorgeous old missile factory. You st I don't know if it was a missile factory, then it turned car factory, or it was a car factory, then turned missile factory during World War II. I can't remember the, the which came first, the missiles or the car. <laughs> but um, it's called North End, and it's really, they've taken these buildings, these gigantic buildings, and broken them up into different stores, coffee shops, delis, things like that, gift shops, uh, awesome art store, good postage. And um, Judy was the one that told me about this. Anyhow, um, so you can walk your dog around there. They've got picnic tables and little food trucks. and I mean, it's awesome. So we're going up there tomorrow. So I'm going to get a head start. So chandelier is the next prompt. And I tried to draw one off of a image on Pinterest, which looked like, um, contour drawing. I'm like, that works for me. That works for me. <clears throat> so in order to do that, I need to do something on this white page. So I thought, in fact, since we're going to good postage, excuse my arm. I got this from good postage last time I was there. I barely have used this. I have used it, but barely. So. I don't know anything about this brand. 
but I just thought it was cool that they had it in a tree. Hmm, except that trees are the nemesis around here right now. <gasps> we went for a walk this morning. Saw where that house, the tree fell through the entire house. Oh, they had big, huge trucks over there today because he had a lot of trees fall between his house and the water too. And um, they were over there working like dogs. What color this is? Oh, this is like an indigo, is it? Not indigo. What do you call that? Can't remember the name of that blue. Ooh, pretty. But there's still a lot of people. The chicken coop, they I thought they propped it up and kind of made do with what they had. Um and then kind of just, because they only have three chickens left. Oh, so sad. Um, the chickens are gone. I don't know if somebody's taking care of them for right now in their own coop somewhere else or what. But they did not rebuild the chicken coop. I thought the other day I saw where it was like leaning and they had, they were able to put enough of it together for three chickens. Because they used to have like 20 before the storm. You don't know. We had a mini tornado here almost two weeks ago, and it did major damage around here. Two houses away from us, thank goodness. <laughs> but there's a lot of people on our street where the trees tore down the um, power poles and power lines up at the end of our street. They still have like five or six, I mean, oak trees, oak trees, big, huge oak trees, as big as this table um, that they still need to do something with. It was, it was bad. It was really bad. But it seemed to, we seem, we're on a tiny bit of a hill. Well, no, we're on a very steep hill. But our drive, our houses, there's three, four houses here that sit kind of far off the road and down on the side of that hill. And I think we were protected just enough. That and the fact that we're on a bend in the cove because it came across the water. It was on the other side of the cove, which is um, a whole other side of this part of Columbia. Um, West Columbia, not West Columbia. Yeah, well, a suburb of Columbia. And um, it, it just, it was, look at that, I don't like, whew. Don't like that. Ow. Opening containers is the hard part here. Now, this is all gouache. This is all gouache. But oh, look at that. So you still have an overpowering sound of chainsaws in the background every day here. Ooh, that's pretty. And it's been warm. Whew. The humidity has been off the charts. Which is normal for this time of year for us. We haven't had normal till about two weeks ago. My, my sister was here from, I'm visiting from California, and she was like, man, this is, I mean, it was warm, but nothing in the 80s. Nothing like what we're used to. My cousin was here from Phoenix. Of course, she's used to hot, but she has dry hot, lots of dry hot. She goes, boy, it's nice. In fact, we took her to um, Congaree National Park because she's a big national park person, and she had on a light jacket. It's like, this is just not, we have not had a normal end of spring, beginning of summer at all. Our hydrangeas were not as good. We do have beautiful hydrangeas, but they just were not as good as they normally are. I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just talking and painting. And I think I'm going to do a black contour drawing of a chandelier. But like I said yesterday in my video, 
which was filmed this morning, you can get into a zone. And this is really good therapy. I have a really good, I'm in my regular, these watercolors. I have a really good pink in this one. I wonder. I might have to. Having a hard time opening things. Resort to doing this. Neo Color 2s. Just seeing if I can fill in some of this white space. But yeah, headed to good postage in the morning. We leave here about nine. We'll get there around 11 because it takes a little bit longer to get to the back roadway. And that way, if we have to take the dog out of the car to go to the bathroom or anything, it's easier because, you know, we can't go anywhere without the dog. Well, we wouldn't want to leave him home alone that long just because he does have major separation issues. But my husband can walk him around up there. I have to make sure we bring him some water. So pretty. Need some more bright yellow down here. pretty. You just get lost. You forget you're supposed to be talking on the camera. Oh. So pretty. Wimbledon's had some crazy weather, too. They're really far behind because of all the rain they've had over there. Just Mother Nature's. And knock on wood, California's had so much snow and rain that hopefully they won't have as many wildfires. Although it has grown the underbrush a lot, but it's still hopefully still fresh and green. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. I don't like how that's a straight line. That can't be. I can hear somebody with a blower or something. Okay, that looks stupid. Hmm. Think I'm gonna let this dry? Maybe come back in the morning and, uh, excuse the dog, and do the contour drawing on top. And then add a little gold. A little gold. What's tomorrow's? Float or buoy? Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be on this page. Oh, that's where that paper came from. Cool. Okay. 
We'll come back part two when this is all dry. Okay, it's Sunday morning. It's the next morning. I am going to try and attempt to draw this chandelier over here. And then I have some news. <laughs> I want to do it in a pencil that will blend. And this is by no means perfect. This is just me trying to draw something in a kind of kind of like a contour drawing of a chandelier, except I'm picking up my pencil a little bit. The news is, you know how I'm constantly talking about this as therapy for me and not advocating this as therapy if you really have issues. Um, I'm not a professional, in other words, as if you couldn't tell. Um, hmm. Can't seem to draw and talk at the same time. Um, I, I'm going to stop doing the iCAD. <laughs> and I'm going to do another journal. And y'all are going to think I'm nuts. But you might already think that anyhow. So that's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm only saying um because I'm trying to draw and talk at the same time. I'm going to do a storm journal. <laughs> we had another storm pop out of nowhere. And it's one of these that there were no clouds in the sky. And then all of a sudden you hear all this thunder and lightning. Or see the lightning. And like, you know what? I talk a lot about this as being therapy. I might need to. And it, it, it's, it's scary. I mean, I've lived here for over 30 years now. I didn't grow up with storms like this. I grew up on the West Coast. But, you know, I've been here more than half my life, um, if you add it all up. And when I say here, I mean South Carolina. Um, okay, hold on a second. I think I found, no? I don't know where my small stabilo, oh, hold on for a second here. tucked away in a safe place somewhere. I haven't thrown it away. Don't worry. But I might need more than one. Hmm. All right. I'm just going to use a food and rescue. Because I do like these also. Maybe I'll use the black pen. Hmm. I want it to bleed. I want it to bleed. Um, so I'm going to make a storm journal. It's just going to be from a junk journal like this. And I came up with 20 prompts for myself because I need prompts. I don't know why, but I do. And I think I'm just going to kind of work out my angst with storms in a journal, which is therapy. And what I kind of preach a lot that this helps me with. Because last night I was just like, Judy, I was just, a, we DM'd each other for once or twice last night. Just happened to be on at the same time. And it was like, here they come. <laughs> Like, okay, are they going to roll over us or are they going to roll through us? And truthfully, because it was such a weird sky, that's nerve wracking there, right there on its own. Um, it was a lot of noise compared to the amount of storm and wind, but we had a lot of wind, which is just how that other one started. Just a little bit of wind. Okay, that looks like a witch's hat with a ponytail. Hmm. But, um, like, you know what? I might work through some of this. I 
These are the bubbles that hang off, right? So I'm going to start a storm journal for better or for worse. Okay, that's a rod iron. It's kind of like Spanish revival style. I was going to cut one out of my architectural digest, but I'm like, you know what? This would be more fun. Not that I can draw or anything, but at least uh, even if I don't use this as a chandelier down the road in another project or as a reference for another project, that's okay. It's here. It's immortalized in here forever. So, yeah, I'm doing this right before we head out to go up to Charlotte. It takes us about two hours, but we go through the back roads because 77, which is the interstate that takes you north from Columbia to Charlotte, is crazy. And it is Sunday, and we have a ton of beach traffic always coming through here. Because anybody going north from the beach has to come through here, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, that's pretty. It doesn't, it just looks like filigree. It doesn't look like a chandelier, but that's okay. The rest of this video is me putting the um, insert together for my storm journal. So, the chandelier is not totally successful, but that's okay. It was fun, and that's the whole point of everything. So I'm going through this pile that's still left here next to me, trying to pick out pages that I can put in uh, the Storm Journal insert, and it's just going to be like the one I just did, just kind of pieces here and there, um, some trifold, some not so trifold, some colorful, some blank. Um, I, I like doing it all different sizes, and I like it thinnish, so that way I can add to it. Um, if I decide to add a tip in or take out a tip in or move a tip in or whatever. Um, that book right there is a wonderful gift from my husband from the trash can at his old office. <laughs> when he was still working away from home, uh, he brought that home one day and he goes, can you use this? I'm like, oh, yes, thank you. He said, everybody was laughing at me because I pulled it out of the trash. He said, I have a, a wife that collects paper. So it's I use it all the time, all the time. Um, and I love the spiral stuff that sticks off of it. Um, love it. So yeah, I just took what was left next to me and added a couple little tiny things to it. Uh, reduced that pile a little bit, which was wonderful. And I am calling this a storm journal. Um, I may write in it. I may not. Uh, I might just do artwork. I do have 20 prompts that'll take me through the month, the entire month of July now. Um, and we'll see what happens. Um. I was just listening to this storm through rule through here last night. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to work this out with therapy in an art journal. Like I talk about all the time. So I don't know what it's going to look like. Don't know anything. Don't know anything. All I know is I'm going to start and I have some words. Um, so this is me for the next, the rest of July storm journals, storm journals and my stomach growling. If you heard that, sorry. Um, so fun, fun. Uh, let's just see where it takes us as I'm looking out the window and it's overcast. So it might happen again today. This is what happens every day, anyhow, normally in South Carolina. It's just been weather, everybody's weather's weird. Everybody's weather's weird. I think this can pertain to everybody. Um, and I just made a tiny little title and we're going for it. So come back tomorrow, see what we do. Thanks for watching. As always, always, always thank you. Bye.